At this point, and speaking of which, Ed Force One now mm -hmm. a, a, a 747 mm -hmm. instead of the 757. Well, first of all, what would the, the capacity difference be? Are you able to do a lot more with the, with the 747? Yeah, I mean, it, if, effectively, there are um, uh, two things driving it. Uh, first of all, we, we, we don't have a 757 anymore because the airline that I worked for for about 10 years, three and a half years ago, uh, went belly up. So uh, the source of <clears throat> immediate airplanes dried up and uh, we got a pretty good deal um, out, of, out of the airline. And uh, I thought, well, you know, if we go to anybody else, it's going to be rape and pillage and they'll be charging us, you know, an arm and a leg for, for digging an airplane out. But fast forward to us having this simulator training center and we've got the Cardiff Aviation and all the other bits and bobs that we've got going in, in Cardiff. And um, one of the clients of our simulator center is a company called Air Atlanta. And they're an Icelandic company and they have... Um, I forget how many, but it was sort of 17 or 18 747s. Uh, uh, most of them cargo, and most of them out in the in the, in the Middle East and Far East, um, flying for other carriers. Uh, but they do their training, at, uh, or some of their training at our facility. A lot of their cadets come there for training and stuff on the, on the sims. And um, so I was having a coffee with the, their um, director of flight operations, and I said, uh, I said, hey, you, um, you don't happen to have a spare aeroplane kind of sitting around, do you? And he went, you know, we do. And I went, it wouldn't happen to be in just regular passenger configuration. He said, yeah, it is, yeah. I said, what color is it? He said, oh, it's just white. I went, yeah. I said, because obviously you don't want to commit yourself to putting a big logo on it, you know, because you don't know who it's going to be flying for, right? He said, because it's your spare. He went, yeah, correct. I said, hmm, how do you fancy putting Eddie all over the side of it and flying for Iron Maiden for six months? And he went, oh, wow. I said, that would be so cool. I went, okay, hold that thought. I said, um, and this is before we'd start doing the album. And I just mentioned it to my manager, Rod. I said, uh, do you want to do one of the Around the World things again? And he went, oh, yeah. He said, they work really well. He said, uh, but where do we get the airplane from? I said, 747? He went, oh. Oh man, he said, oh, that would be so cool to so the queen of the skies. I said, and we don't have to stop for gas anymore. And we can put so much more stuff in the belly. And we don't have to modify the airplane for three weeks before and three weeks afterwards with all the extra cost. Yeah, I know it's got two extra engines. And yeah, I know it burns more gas. But actually, the amount of gas it burns versus the downtime at both ends ends up being about the same. Yeah. But you can carry more, more flex, more everything, and let's face it, it's a 747. <laughs>